Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mishka and I am launching my skincare line. Now this is the first addition to my skincare line which is a body butter. It is infused with hibiscus. Um, the ingredients are cocoa butter, shea butter, grape seed oil, uh, carrot oil, rosehip oil, vitamin E oil, and a light fragrance oil that is blended with strawberry and sandalwood. If you missed my previous body butter videos where I've been practicing to perfect my body butter, I'll try to link a few of them in the description box below. Here I'm showing you the different texture of cocoa butter and shea butter. As some of you may know, cocoa butter is definitely harder than shea butter. So when you're creating your body butters, it's a it's best to add a hard butter with a soft butter to prevent the butter from melting easily during transit. Now in this clip, I'm adding my rose powder to the grapeseed oil because I want to add it in this phase and then put the oils and the butters on the double boiler method because I think everything, um, it infuses be better. And I also added the arrowroot powder at this point because the heat allows the arrowroot powder to actually work better. So if you have been doing body butters and you, you don't see the difference when you use arrowroot powder, add it to the double boiler phase. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. The, uh, the rose butter didn't come out oily. It was literally silky smooth. This is the best recipe I have ever made. I was truly, truly impressed. As I said in um, my previous videos, because the rose powder is not oil soluble, meaning it doesn't dissolve in the oils, I had to use a cheesecloth to strain out the excess um, rose powder. Now, when if a little bit of rose powder still ends up in the butter, you literally don't feel it on your skin. It's just that it doesn't look all that attractive when you see the rose powder peeping through the butter, but you literally don't feel it. So I'm just straining out the excess using a cheesecloth. I think I did this three times to get every all of the residue from the oils what you guys think about body butters are you a fan of body butters or are you more into lotions let me know in the comments below and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up i would definitely appreciate it now in this phase this is where after i strain the hibis the the oils i added the mixture in the freezer i did it at less time than the times that when i was practicing in the other videos as you can see it gave that liquidy in the middle was liquidy that's this is actually the perfect texture when you remove it from the freezer so i think i left it in the freezer for I think 15 to 20 minutes. I was very careful this time because as I said, this is my official recipe. So I wanted to get it right. In my previous video, I also mentioned that I won't be using mica powders or any synthetic um, coloring to my body butters because my my website is all plant-based, natural, you know, I try to keep it very, very clean. Now here I am adding my carrot oil, my vitamin E oil, and my rose hip oil. So I add these when I am mixing, um, mixing at the end because those are my, like my high top ingredients. I don't really want to add heat to them. Even though I'm using a double boiler method, um, it wouldn't affect it. But yeah, I left it to the end, the, the last phase. So this is a texture. I am, listen, I am so, I was so impressed of this texture. It is so beautiful, beautiful. Um, if you do purchase this, you're going to be receiving it in a glass jar because based on my research, glass jars are better when you're trying to preserve the texture of your body butter. So, um, you know, heat doesn't cause the body butter from melting. So I went with glass rather than plastic. Now, here's another interesting part. I wanted to do a video with you to show you guys uh, me piping the 
the butters that I was practicing with but that video did not turn out good because I wasn't really a fan of the piping method I think it's because I bought the wrong tip so if you're gonna pipe your body butters make sure you get big tips not regular size little tips get huge large you know tips to pipe your butters so I wanted to try the scooping method I was very like nervous at first but I actually liked it it's like less butter being wasted and I don't have to touch it or anything I liked it I like the scooping method let me know what you guys think about the scooping method so um these jars that i bought i initially got them off amazon and they were supposed to be eight ounce jars they are eight ounce jars but they don't hold eight ounce they hold five ounce so i have to get eight ounce jars because you know these don't hold what they need to hold but this is the official recipe guys if you want to see more cute pictures head over to my instagram at juno's curls and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video as i mentioned in the first part of the video of course you can get this body butter by clicking the link in my description box below it's www.junoscurls.com and you can pre-order your body butters if you enjoyed the video leave a comment below let me know what you guys think any suggestions thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video